Alzheimer's is a type of neurological disorder, usually prevailing in population of age group around 65 years. It is a type of dementia, an umbrella for many disorders that are usually symptomized by progressive memory loss and cognitive disabilities due to destruction of function of brain cells. In Alzheimer's disease, a protein forms a wall between the brain cells, causing difficulty in communication between two cells. This leads to gradual progression of loss of memory and thought processes. Glial cell that clears the waste and toxic substances from brain is found to be inactive in Alzheimer's disease. This leads to buildup of waste material, including some proteins. Protein called beta amyloid, when accumulates, causes plaque formation, building up as obstructive walls around the brain cells. Another protein called tau accumulates to form fibrous tangles inside the cell. These are toxic and damage the cell, disrupting its function and communication with other cells. These changes and cell destructions are typically seen in the hippocampus and entorhinal cortex at first. These areas in the brain are responsible for memory. Memory loss is one of the first symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. The cells of cerebral cortex are destroyed causing difficulty in social behavior, reasoning and linguistic abilities. At last, other areas of brain are affected, causing chronic inflammation, leading to difficulty in independent function and ultimately loss of life. Constant efforts and research are made to find a cure for treatment specific to the disease. Various drugs are used for arresting the progress of cognitive decline as well as for behavioral symptoms associated with AD. Acetylcholine is a chemical messenger that functions across the nerve cells. In Alzheimer's, the levels of this messenger drops down. Cholinesterase inhibitors like donepezil plus memetine combination and donezepil prevent breakdown of acetylcholine. These drugs help to treat the difficulties of thinking, judgment, language as well as memory. This helps in delaying the progression of disease. Glutamate passes calcium into the cell. In Alzheimer's, the nerve cells produce too much glutamate, a neurotransmitter. Excess calcium deposition can lead to cell death. A drug called memantine antagonizes the site at which glutamate binds to the cell called the NMDA receptor. As required, antidepressant, antipsychotic and sedative drugs may be prescribed depending upon the behavioral and mood symptoms. Onset of Alzheimer's is between ages 40 and 90 years, most often after the age of 65 years. Symptoms are progressive decline in memory and cognitive functions, disorientation, changes in behavior, mood and personality, confusion, suspicion for family members, difficulties in swallowing, speaking and walking. At early stages of the disease, self-care can help to reduce the stress and make the work easier for caregivers. Some tips are Develop a good rapport with your healthcare providers. Accept the changes and prepare yourself to follow the given instructions. Make legal and financial plans with the help of your family members. Study about the disease, but do not fear any changes. Mental stress can worsen the conditions. Relieve your stress with yoga and meditation. Avoid alcohol and do not skip medications. Take sufficient rest and do not stress over anything that is difficult to remember or think. Taking a break at such times is often helpful. Always have an identity card with details of emergency contact while going outdoors. Family members or nurses need a lot of patience, time and organization to take care of a person with Alzheimer's. Communicating with the person having Alzheimer's is very important. Talking slowly with details is important. Do not switch subject of conversation. Give sufficient time, space to talk between two different subjects to avoid confusion. Give slow, stepwise instructions and wait in between for the person to finish the task. Encourage the person to do daily tasks like brushing teeth and shaving by showing the chart and the clock. Keep it readable, displayed near the clock and at reach. Keep electric gadgets, razors and hot water out of reach.
Placing anti-skid mats and hand grabs at multiple places can be helpful. At mealtimes, keep the table and surroundings clear from any other thing or distraction. Do not lay many vessels and dishes around to avoid confusions. Place one dish at a time and take your meal with the person. By taking your meal together, you can encourage the person to eat independently. Keep excess medications and other harmful or toxic products out of reach. Organize all medications in pillbox and remind to take them on time with the help of the prepaid time chart. Keep the bathroom latch easily openable and two ways. In case of accidents due to incontinence, be calm and supportive. Remind frequently for use of bathroom. Keep the bathroom clean, dry and comfortable to use independently. Keep signboards like flush and wash hands around. Keeping the bathroom door open is also helpful, making it appear more accessible. Engage the person in recreational activities regularly and at times when distraction is required. Art, music, dance and exercises in different forms keep the person cheerful and confident. Initiate each activity and then encourage the person to join you. Keep the surroundings free of distractions and noise.